Right, it's that time of the show to find out whether Jennifer will be facing food heaven or food hell. Food heaven, of course, would be this luxurious Chateaubriand, this piece of the fillet, uh, served with Bernay sauce, chips, we've got some oven roasted tomatoes there, and watercress. Alternatively, you could be having gherkins. You know what you've got, because these guys have chosen food heaven as well. Why not exactly? So we'll lose this out of the way. It was a whitewash today. So first thing I'm going to do, if you could do me the shallots, yep. that would be great. And I'm going to get on and do the chips. And I think if Pierre, if you want to start uh, maybe with a little yes. bit of reduction for the Bernays, okay. really, because uh, now you'll get a little masterclass on the, the sauce to go with the Chateaubriand, which I'm just going to do these chips first of all and get these on. Now, potato-wise, depends whether you want Thin chips or fat chips? I'll let you fat use the chips. eggs, sir. You've got thin chips. We've only got seven minutes. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> That's all we've got. You can have fat chips if we had longer. Yeah. I need a saucepan there. You've got one there? No. That is not. That's a frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Thank you. How many do you want, chef? One. One. <laughs> we've got plenty. Now you might have raw chips in a minute. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right, get these on. You might so have tell us about tell us about Bernays sauce then, Pierre. The first of all, is a quite a. I think it's the most well-known French sauce, you know. Yeah. And uh, it's a basic sauce. In fact, the basic sauce is hollandaise. And from uh, knowing how to do an hollandaise, you can you can go doing a lot of sauces like a bearnaise with tarragon, yeah, uh, paroise with mint. Choron with tomato, all the same, all the same. Uh, uh, all the classics. Yeah, all the same start, but changed by adding few things. Now, so you add, it, if, it, you add, if you add sort of blood orange juice, it's Maltese as exactly, well. Exactly, and that uh, yeah. with asparagus most of the time, you know? Yeah. yeah. And if you put veal stock in it, you got uh, the sauce Colbert. Yeah. Yeah. Are you following this? Yeah. I thought you were talking to me then. Yeah. <laughs> right, so then we've got. Our chips are going into our fryer. Right, you've got the egg yolks on. We've got clarified butter there. The reduction's coming down. And now we'll talk about our beef that we've got on here. Now, this is the Chateaubriand, or the, the end piece. And uh, it was yourself and, was it Gareth Gates Gareth that were having an argument Sorry. last night where this comes from on the animals? Well, Sino's come oh, on today you. and he was like, oh, what, what's your food, heaven? Right. And I said, oh, Chateaubriand. And he was like, oh, to all the girls, he went, that's, that's, he went, it's the best piece of the beef. He went, it's the neck. And I looked like that and I went, the neck. <laughs> and he went, yeah, he went, it's the neck. He went, that's why it saved toll. And I said, so what, like the Naomi Campbell uh, of cows is like the best fillers? Like, no, no, chef, no. So it's no. not anyway, it's not the neck, is it? Yeah, you'd have a bit of a floppy cow if that was the neck. <laughs> but this is this is from the fillet, which is underneath the rib cage. Um, so it's, it's basically, it, 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 the fillet is about sort of this, this long. You split it down into three main parts. You have this area here, which is the tornador. This is where you get your fillet steaks from. Mm -hmm. Then you have the filet mignon, which is the end bit, which is used for stroganoff, steak tartare, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then at the end bit, the knuckle bit, which is here, where this, this part of the meat actually comes out like this and straight and then tails back in again. And it's this part where you get your fillet steaks from. You could probably take another fillet steak from here, but then this is traditionally roasted whole for two people. So we're going to season this. Oh, and it really is a classic sort of roasting joint, really, for this one. So, plenty of black pepper and salt over the top. Now, a little bit of Bernay sauce. Chef, what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, I'm there? cooking the egg, egg uh, yolk and to make an emulsion. So, there's plenty of bubble coming into it yeah. to make it light. And uh, you've got to be caref a bit careful on it, not to overcook it, because you'll finish with a, with a scrambled egg otherwise. Eh? Yeah. That will take about two or three minutes to finish that. And from then, we will add the red action and the clarified butter. Right, and then we've got our beef, which is sealing off nicely in here. Now, at the same time, I'm going to put in this pan over there just a little bit of butter to get those rusting off. These are a little bit of cherry tomatoes, a bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper. So you need uh, a little bit of tarragon vinegar with the uh, Bernays sauce. Yeah, as well, white yeah? wine, tarragon vinegar, tarragon vinegar. Black pepper, corn, shallots. Yeah. That's so it. the idea is to seal off the yeah. beef like that. Now, it depends on how well you want it cooked, but this all gets roasted in the oven. This needs to go in the oven now for about, this off, for a good 15 minutes, really. With it being a fillet like this, it doesn't take very long. 15 minutes, keep the pan in there as well, so whatever you're sealing it off, in, put that in as well, mm -hmm. keeps it nice and easy. Hot. It's just boiling, let it reduce. Not yet. Ah, okay. It's too liquid after. So it's just oil? 
Yeah. Yeah. Of course, this is one of the dishes you cooked to win Hell's Kitchen, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Are we doing it right then? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, today we are doing the perfect meal. You know, we, we, we start with the uh, celery, go on with the beef, yeah. and finish with the souffle. Yeah. Mm, yeah. See your yeah. monkfish thing get looking then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot the bag. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Jim. <laughs> it's quickly forgotten. Thank you yeah, very yeah. much for that. Yeah. So anyway, we'll chop this up. So you're actually going back to uh, back up north tonight to, to appear in, on stage tonight as well. Yes, That's I right. am. I was at the show last night. Had a train, and then back this afternoon. Like so that, uh, mm. I like when you come. Yeah. yeah. So if anybody's got any tickets tonight, that you Don't may be panic. a bit, you may be a bit <laughs> yeah. heavier on your feet tonight. So. <laughs> after, yeah, after all the wine and uh, yeah. um, we just got some fresh. This is the secret to it, and I think this Bernay sauce. As well as having a three mission star chef cook it, yeah. like you do, but is is the reduction and keep the shallots in. That's what I like. Yeah, know, I like it too it. myself. Even the the black uh, the peppercorn. Yeah, it's got a little crunch. It's cooked, so it's not that hard. Yeah, but it gives a little crunch, which is you nice. And the vinegar stays in the shallot, doesn't yeah. it? Like yeah, yeah. Right, we've got the chips. I'll move them out of the way. Ready, chef? Right, we've got two and a half minutes like to make Bernay like sauce. It. Can you do that? Huh? Can you do that two and a half minutes? <laughs> two and a half minutes? We've got two and a half minutes, yeah, no oh, problem. we finished well before. We've yeah. got, <laughs> we got, I'll, I'll, I'll let you check. I'll let you check <laughs> We've got Pierre Kaufman in the kitchen, of course exactly. it's possible. I'll let you check the seasoning because you're not very happy with mine. Yes. But, uh... <laughs> right. I'm just making sure the chips are cooked. <laughs> right, okay. right we've got our beef here, which we'll take Pleasure. off. This has just been... Right, there it is. Yeah. Let that to rest. Rest. That's yeah. the key to it. Yeah. Ideally, you want to cook this for 15 yeah, minutes and let it rest for about 15 minutes yeah. before yeah. you serve it. But, um, okay. Right, the Bernays sauce. You've got the reduction there, so you can explain to us what's gone in that reduction, Bryn. Um, so, shallots, vinegar, tarragon, peppercorn. Slowly, yeah. And yeah. the chef's whisked the egg, egg yolks over a bamboo of water. Yeah. It's very important that the water doesn't touch the bowl, otherwise, you'll have scrambled egg rather than a sauce. That's right. You cook it with steam only. And then we pour in the melted butter very, very slowly. Currently, this is the world's most expensive sauce that you're about to have. Yeah. And the best. And then we leave the yeah. shallots to cool down a little bit before we add it to the sauce, otherwise it'll cook the egg yolks. Exactly. Yeah, yeah well, you've got one minute left. Yeah. Easy. I've and you can chips. see it's good exercise in the morning. No? <laughs> <laughs> a bit more, Chef? Yeah, a bit more. Oh. Just, can I just sneak in there? Yeah. Grab my chips out of here. Okay. Okay. And plenty of salt on the chips as well. And then chopped tarragon in at the last minute. That's what you want, sir. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. I'll get these piled up there. Looks pretty good. And then you've got the beef. Oh. And this is that. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, for the Yorkshire folk that just tuned in, oh. obviously this is for one. <laughs> <laughs> Where I was brought up. Look at that. Check that out. Wow. Proper. That is proper. Now, that is food heaven, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and then you just got a bit of salt on top. Oh, and three wow. star sauce to go with it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All the poor people who just sent the telegram go. going, oh. Right, dive into that. Wowee. Now, I'll grab some wine. Oh, uh, to go with this, Susie's chosen a George de Berth, Beaujolais, 2010, uh, from Tesco. It's priced at uh, £8.99. There you go. What do you reckon? Silence is normally pretty good. Isn't it? <laughs> Silence is always <laughs> quite good, isn't it, really? Good? Even the French fry are properly seasoned. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> properly seasoned as yeah. well. There See, you it go. turns a French fry yeah. not chips. It's not in the, not in the book, but uh, you know, there you go. But I think it's worthy. You know, that sauce is fantastic. It really, it really is. Little masterclass wow. of sauce. It's not every day that you see somebody like Pierre outside of his own kitchen. If you're in London, go to his restaurant. It's brilliant. That's all for today on Saturday Kitchen Live. Thanks to Bryn Williams, Pierre Kaufman and Jennifer Ellison. Cheers to Susie Atkins for the wine choices. I'm always left with the bowl. And remember, all of today's recipes are, of course, on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk 
forward slash Saturday Kitchen. There's going to be a lot of Bernays sauces made this weekend. And don't forget, tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, BBC <laughs> Two, we've got Best Bites for you. But we'll be back at the same time, same place, next Saturday with more great chefs with more great recipes. Enjoy the weekend. Bye for now. <laughs>